I made it clear I did not agree with the idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was bull****. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to be a part of it. And that's one of the reasons that went into me deciding to leave when I did. Despite that, from his former attorney general, Trump and his allies are still pushing those 2020 election lies. A new report released by a group of prominent conservatives has now reviewed every single election fraud raised in six crucial swing states, and here's what they found. Quote, absolutely no evidence of fraud in the 2020 presidential election on the magnitude necessary to shift the result in any state, let alone the nation as a whole. We welcome one of the co-authors of that report, David Hoppe. He has a wealth of experience on Capitol Hill and was once chief of staff for then-Speaker Paul Ryan. David, we knew there was no widespread voter fraud. You saw it right there. Trump's former attorney general confirmed it. Can this report convince anyone who's still insisting otherwise? Because there's no sign of him stopping the big lie. Just yesterday, we found out this month, he urged the Wisconsin Assembly Speaker to overturn Biden's win in 2020. Well, what we looked at, as you said, is all 64 cases that were brought by the Trump campaign. And in none of those were they successful. They had one success, and that was not a Pennsylvania case. And it did not concern enough votes to even come close to turning around things in Pennsylvania. So we have a process. And if people have concerns about the vote, they have a way to take them to court to get the court decisions. But we looked at all the court decisions and we looked at all the studies in many of the six key states that were done by the legislatures or other groups. But David. And the conclusion that there was not anything that would have turned over the election, that the electors that Joe Biden won were sufficient for him to be elected president, and he was legitimately elected president. We are hoping that people will look at this report and go see the depth we went to to try and go on a deep dive and everything to show that there just, there were, that's not to say there weren't places that things went wrong here and there. That happens in almost every election. But there was but nothing- David, the, that's not what I'm asking. Was nothing proven by the Trump people to say that they actually could turn over any state. They just didn't have the evidence. That's not what I'm asking. I'm asking, who is listening? Do you believe this report is going to change the minds of those who are pushing the big lie or influential Republicans well, who know it's a lie and have been silent about it? You have to start by talking to people uh, and, and where you come from. And uh, all the people who are the authors of this report are conservative Republicans who have served in Republican administrations, uh, been Republicans. And is it going to happen in a day or two days or a week or a month? That people are going to start to look at this? Probably not. But over time, we're hoping that because this is a report that can be easily digested by people who are non-lawyers like me, we think that this is a report that will build over time the opportunity for people to take a deep dive and say, what happened? Was there a fair election? And was it true that, uh, that Vice President Biden was elected president of the United States? It's going to take some time, but we continue to work on it. We continue to talk to conservative groups that continue to talk to conservative publications, conservative radio people, conservative TV stations. We are trying to do this in a responsible way to get the information out to conservatives who are concerned, um, who, who believe that there might have, you know, I, I, for most of December uh, of 2020, as I looked at things, I wasn't sure that the election hadn't been uh, there weren't things so wrong in the election that the, the results weren't right. But as I looked at it more and more, and as I came and to work with this later on, we looked at all the cases, and there just isn't the evidence anywhere that President Trump wa had enough votes to be elected in any of these states. I believe you. I believe this report. Have you spoken to your former boss, Paul Ryan, about this? I know he has urged Republicans to look at other candidates other than Donald Trump, but... He's also on the board of Fox. You could show this report uh, to Paul Ryan. There's a good chance Fox News um, isn't even going to I air have, uh, the hearing tomorrow night. He has I, an awful lot of influence I over people him, who yeah. suck down conservative media, media night after night. He, uh, I have talked to him about the report, and he has seen the report. I delivered a copy to him so that he could look at it. 
Um, we've had people, one of the first interviews we had, frankly, was on, uh, on a Fox uh, special report. Uh, and so we have done that in, with other conservative groups as well. And we will continue to do that because our audience is, as you point out, primarily conservatives who are still concerned about this election. We want to show them that what we did, the evidence we gathered, the thorough way we went through it to prove, and we didn't go into this with a preconceived idea of what the, uh, whether it was right or wrong. We went in saying, what does the evidence show? And the evidence showed, in our opinion, overwhelmingly, without a shadow of a doubt, that Joe Biden won the presidential election in 2020. He had the most elector, won the most states, had the most electors, and was legitimately and fairly elected president of the United States in the 2020 election. It's a really important report. I really appreciate you doing this work. It is not about supporting Joe Biden. It's about supporting democracy and free and fair elections. And that's exactly what you're doing. And I appreciate it.